I see something uh, he can improve on, I do that. When it's a good play, I do that. He's my eyes on the sideline as well. Uh, it's vice versa. Can you just talk about uh, with, with Victor coming back? Um, Coach said after the game that even if he doesn't have a spectacular performance, just his presence, what that means for this offense. Did it did it feel different with him back out there versus maybe against USC? Uh, definitely felt different. You know, he's a deep threat, a lot of speed, a lot of heart. Um, Victor does a lot of things that people don't notice, you know, so it just feels good having your brother back on the field. How, how uh, what are some of those things that maybe people don't notice that he can uh, help you with? Tough very vocal you know out there on the field he's fearless just know when his play his numbers called no worries yeah i have to worry about what i'm doing because i know he's going to execute what he's doing very accountable mm -hmm. i think you guys ran the ball like 45 46 percent of the, the time against colorado how would you describe this i mean you got the running program has been very resurgent here at oregon state how would you describe it what does that that feel for you uh feels good i definitely like the direction we're headed uh um i feel like we can get better though you know, it's a long part of the season left, and I like where we're at right now. I think it's very positive, encouraging. Uh, we just got to keep working hard. Don't get complacent. You know, I like how the stats look and how balanced we are. And I just feel personally that if we're balanced, you know, we're one of the hardest teams to beat. So we just got to keep on harping on that. Where do you still want to most improve, you say? You can still get better. Everything. Everything. You know, if it's not a home run every time you hit the hole, if it's not perfect blocks every time, you know, 400 rushing yards is not perfect. You know, so everything. We can get better in catching the ball, blocking the ball, hitting the holes even faster, making cuts even better, you know, just reading the fronts even better, just always growing. Your, your big thing, I know you've said a million times, just being tougher when you're running, and, and you, you seem to even show that on your touchdown where you like bounced off two guys. Is that just becoming more and more comfortable for you, just, just making sure to finish those, those runs? I mean, it was before last year. I think that's what type of runner I was. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's just getting back to basics, you know, don't overthink, you know, just lowering the pads. And, you know, when the goal line's right there, you don't care who's in front of you. Right. So, I mean, you just got to go get it. I think that's what it's more about. That's more. Uh, Storm, just a couple stats I want to get your reaction to in terms of the, the Utah defense. They had 10 sacks last game against UCLA. They lead the nation in sacks, and they lead the nation in tackles for loss. Can you kind of talk about, as an offense, how you guys prepare for, for that um, athletic group on defense, especially the front seven? Uh, very good front seven, probably the best we're going to play this year. Um, haven't watched them on Stanford or Washington, of course, with respect to those teams. Uh, 10 sacks just jumps off the page at you. You know, um, that tells you that they're getting after the quarterback, you know, at all costs. You know, the play's never over with those guys. But at the same time, and I mean no disrespect to Utah at all. Great coach team, great program. But we have a mentality of we don't care. They have to stop what we do. So, of course, we're going to watch film, see how we could protect Sean even more. But, you know, our game plan is just to go out there and play Beaver football and come home with the win.